Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving if you just celebrated Thanksgiving. So I have a question today from Nicole. Nicole says, I have a binge eating habit that I've come to see much different in the past year since finding this new paradigm. I no longer take it as seriously when I do binge. They aren't as big and not nearly as often. If this is where I'm destined to be forever, I suppose it's okay. But I have to ask, probably for the hundredth time, where do I look in the moment? My binges have turned from out of control thoughts to an inner dialogue of, oh, I know, this is, I know what this is. It's my habit rearing its head. No biggie. Let me do something else. And she says 30 minutes later, oh, there it is with a stomach ache this time. How interesting. And then one hour later, okay, it's just thought. It doesn't mean anything. And then one hour later, geez, this is annoying. Whatever. I'll give in this time. I'm too tired to do something else. So what we just heard is what happens in Nicole's head. And then she says, now while these aren't as big, bad, or scary, it is annoying. Is this just part of the human experience? Do I need to just keep looking deeper into the oneness that Sydney Banks always talks about? I continue to delve into what feels good, and really that is just endless hours of talk about this understanding. Maybe that's all there is to do at this point, but I just have to put the question out there, what am I missing? So Nicole, I'm so glad you asked this, and I've, I've addressed several questions like this here, but I think it's so helpful that, um, that you all send them, because look, I mean, you've seen a lot. A lot has changed. A lot has shifted. That's amazing. That's so great. And there's, there's still something that looks and feels really real, you know, that's kind of keeping you in this place that you, the bigger you, Nicole knows there's there, it doesn't have to be this way. You know, that's what's asking the question of like, I know somewhere out there and, and look, everyone who's stuck knows this on some level. I know it doesn't have to be this way. I know there's more to see. I know there's something else. I know there's something I'm caught up on, but I just don't see it. And we don't, we don't see it until we do. So I'm so glad that you sent this question and, and for everyone in this place saying, I'm doing all the right things. I'm reading all the right stuff and watching all the videos and everything. And, and yet something's in the way. Ask and and look at it and because i think that is absolutely what helps us see through it and so that's one thing and i'll say something about what you wrote nicole but that is one huge thing i just want to say to you and to everyone is it's really easy to to take stuff in on our own so watching videos listening to podcasts watching these things like whatever you do to kind of do it on your own and, and we hear, we can hear so much from that. That's how I had massive shifts into this. It's just by myself. That, that goes a really long way. And sometimes our head will take it and only hear it as long as, as, you know, and the only way that our head knows how to hear it. And then we think that's it. So I don't know if that made any sense, but, but basically we hear we hear bits and pieces of this understanding and then our mind will want to say, oh, here's how it works. Here's what you do. Here's what they're talking about. Here's what the new paradigm is. And that isn't it. That's our mind taking a little whiff of what it's heard and then turning it into a thing. And when that happens, and that happens all the time for everyone, it's okay. But when that happens, we've kind of, we've missed something. We've lost it because it, like freedom, the truth about life, who we really are, seeing all that isn't a concept. It isn't a nice little soundbite. It's, it's not a thing we can write on a sticky note and take around in the moment and read in the moment. Like it isn't that kind of thing. It's, it's infinitely bigger than that. You know, it, it's, it's a deep embodied understanding of who we are that, that we can feel and think and, and experience anything anything and know that that is just our experience it's the teeny teeny tip tip of the iceberg not even it's not even not even the tip of the iceberg but relatively speaking for illustration purposes it's the tip of the iceberg it has nothing to do with who we are it has it means nothing but we have to we have to really come to like live that and know it and just see it and that doesn't happen once that happens over and over and over as we keep staying in this conversation and exploring it more and more deeply
So what I wanted to say to you, Nicole, and to everyone is if you're in this place where you're, you've, you've, you've been in the conversation and it still feels like, wow, there's something missing. That's not anything bad about you. It's not anything bad about the conversation. It's not anything bad at all. It's just an invitation to maybe talk with someone, maybe help someone who's a trained coach or even just a friend who, who maybe knows this new paradigm, talk with them and let them show you your blind spots because you have them. Or like you are, Nicole, you sent this question to me, which is great because I'm going to show you your blind spots in a second. But for everyone, you know, I mean, that is the, the benefit in having a person you can be in, in back and forth communication with, especially if they're a coach, is that that's what we're trained to do. We're trained to see where you're making stuff up in your head and you are invisible to it or it is invisible to you by definition or else it wouldn't be a problem. It's totally invisible to you until it isn't. So consider that, Nicole. Consider talking with someone if you if you can. So what I want to point out to you in terms of, I don't know if you'd call it a blind spot, but I think it kind of is, is where you go through this dialogue that happens in your head. So when you, when you say, okay, you have this inner dialogue that starts that says, oh, I know what this is. It's my habit rearing its head. No biggie. Let me do something else. Now, that's what you're kind of saying when you feel this feeling to yourself. Now, that's great. That's better than saying, oh my gosh, this is taking me over. I have to go act on it. Like you're not doing that, right? So it's nice. And, and what you say factually is true. Oh, this is my habit. No biggie. It'll move. Like, you know, however you see that, you see it, it, you know, clearly there's something helpful in that. I want you to check for yourself, Nicole, to see how much you know that. Like, are these just words? And maybe sometimes they are. They are sometimes for everyone. So I'm not putting you on the spot and it's not an either or. But check for yourself. Like, are these just words? Are these just nice ideas? that you've heard many people say, I mean, because it's the right answer, but the right answer is useless unless we know it to be absolutely true and we feel it deep within us. And again, that only happens by staying in this conversation and exploring over and over and having it, having it kind of fall deeper within us in a sense. Like it, it just, it, it, like, again, the, the, the best metaphor I can always think of is the language one. It's like you stumble through a language as you're learning it. And then one day you just, not even one day, but you know, you go through phases where you're just fluent and you're just speaking that language and the stumbling piece is gone. Doesn't mean you don't forget a word. Doesn't mean you don't mess it up at times, but there's a new level of just knowing and you just speak from that place. That's the same here. So the more you just see this as just life, and it's less of a thing you tell yourself in the moment, the, the more things are going to just continue to shift for you. So it kind of sounds to me like maybe that's what's happening here, is that you're telling yourself these things that are the right answer, but that doesn't do a darn thing, as you've seen in the moment. So then you say, oh, there it is again. How interesting. Oh, it doesn't mean anything. Again, it just all kind of sounds a little bit like, oh, let me tell myself the answer and hope that works. And that's not what does it, you know, really seeing that this is the truth is what does it. So then the clincher is the last part when you say, geez, this is annoying, whatever, I'll give in this time. I'm too dire to do something else. So there's this, and again, I know this is just you kind of given a, an example of how it goes, but like there's this place where it's like in that statement, you're not seeing that this, that, that you are you and your experience is moving through and it's, and it doesn't mean anything. Like you're kind of collapsed with it. It looks like something you have to manage. It looks like something you have to do something about. It looks like, you know, however that looks, but that it's tired, that it takes energy, it takes effort, you're too annoyed, oh, whatever, I'll just give in, meaning that's easier than letting this move through me. Now, again, that's just how it feels sometimes, but there's a lot, a lot you can see in that, Nicole, a lot that can shift there. And I don't know, there's not one thing, again, it's not about a fact, so there's not a new fact I can give you or a new thing I can point out, except to say that it used to look like that to me too and to lots and lots of people. And that just starts to fall away as we just embody this understanding more and more. So when you say, and your question to me, is this just part of the human experience? Well, yeah, everything's part of the human experience. Do I need to just keep looking deeper into the oneness that Sydney Banks always talks about? 
you know, again, I don't, it doesn't matter what you watch or what you look into and it's not, no, it's not about quantity. It's not like go watch more videos, but the truth is there as far as I can tell. And in my experience, the truth is there, the truth is in this, but the truth, it has to feel like truth in us. So we just keep opening in different ways and seeing it more and more. So I don't know. I hope something in this is helpful, Nicole. It's always a funny thing. Again, I so appreciate these questions and I get them often because it does feel like there's like we've seen something and then our mind says, oh, you've seen it. You got the right answer. You should be done. But it doesn't work that way with this. And it's very hard to explain, but it truly is an immersion that gets deeper and deeper over time. And it's already, look how much it's already helped. I mean, you say amazing things here. Your, your binge eating is totally different than it used to be. Like that hopefully can encourage you like say, wow, if I've seen this much already and I've only seen, I've only scratched the surface and I have too, by the way, we all have. There's so much more to see and truly embody. This is no problem. No problem at all. I'm just like that can get you excited to just keep exploring and keep looking more and more deeply at this. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I hope it's helpful to others. Um, I wanted to mention that I do have my new holiday product is out and it talks about this, Nicole. It talks about what to do in the moment and how all that talking to ourselves and telling ourselves, this is what I'll do. And if they offer me this, this is what I'll say. And you know, that whole thing, how that's, that's not really where it's at. And in many ways that kind of keeps us away from what we're going to going toward because it keeps us in our head kind of repeating facts and facts don't do anything. They don't help us at all. So so check out that holiday product if you're interested. The very first uh, lesson for everyone, the very first lesson is absolutely free. It's like a 20, 25 minute lesson. Um, you can hear my story. You can hear me kind of set up and talk about what's going to happen in the program and hear some helpful stuff right away. So you can check that out at dramyjohnson.com slash holiday. And I'll put the link here. Um, and yeah, I hope that's helpful for everyone. Thank you so much for your question, Nicole. And I will see you guys back here next Monday.